If you've been getting your Amazon selling applications rejected and beating your head against the wall, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'll be going over a couple of simple steps that you can apply to turn that denial into an approval. Let's get right into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel, Noti Tribe. If you're new here, my name is Just Notified. And in this playlist, I go over a lot of tips and insights to help you be more successful selling on platforms like Amazon. I go over everything from how to become an Amazon seller, how to source, list, ship, and ultimately sell your products on Amazon. And more recently, because of y'all's request, I have been going over how to get ungated in certain brand names to be able to sell. So today I'm gonna to be covering what you should do if you send an invoice in to apply and Amazon rejects your application. So the specifics I'm gonna cover is the main reasons why Amazon will reject your application, how you can fix them, and then I'll show you examples of what I've done to turn my rejection into an approval. So please stick to this video until the end so you don't miss out on any information. And also I have a couple of announcements and I have a question for you guys because I really need your help with something. So I'm gonna need you to stick to the end of the video. So I decided to make this video because I've helped hundreds of my tribe members get ungated using some of my methods. But a few of you upon the initial attempt would get rejected and send me a comment that it didn't work. Now I was able to get back with them and explain certain things that they could do to turn around the decision on their application. And then once they applied those steps, I got a message from them a day or two later and they've been approved to sell under that brand. So I wanted to make this public knowledge for all of my viewers so you can come back and reference this video if you should happen to experience a denial from Amazon. So let's go ahead and get into reasons why Amazon will reject your application. Now, in my personal experience, there are two main reasons why your application won't go through. Reason number one is Amazon will send you an email stating, we have reviewed the documentation you provided and determined that it does not meet our requirement for the following reasons. This reason being, you have provided an unacceptable document. Please note that we are unable to accept retail receipts online order confirmations, packing slips, sales orders, pro forma invoices, or sales quotes for approval. Now, if you receive this email, don't panic, don't get discouraged. I've gotten this email many times as I test to see what works and what doesn't work. And the fix for this denial is simply to go into your Amazon Seller Central, hover over catalog, then go to view selling applications. Once you get to this screen, you're gonna locate the actual brand that you just got denied for, and then there should be a series of numbers on the left side underneath that brand name. You're gonna click on that series of numbers. And on this last screen toward the top, you're gonna go ahead and select the option to close this case. Once you've done all that, all you're gonna do is just go ahead and reapply for brand approval. And if you want tips on best practices when filling out your selling application, I'll go ahead and link a step-by-step -step guide toward the end of this video. Now to show you an example that this works, I'll go ahead and show a series of emails of me applying getting rejected and then reapplying and ultimately getting approved. So earlier this week, I was applying to get approved in Puma and I sent in my first application on March 11th and it got rejected. Then from there, I closed that case and then reapplied on March 12th and that boy Martin wasn't having it. Then that same day, I closed the case again and then reapplied and that boy Jiangguan hit me with the Heisman. Then just a couple days ago, I closed the case, reapplied and on that fourth application, they finally let your boy in. All right, so let's move on to reason number two as to why Amazon may reject your application. So again, they could send you an email stating, we have reviewed the documentation you provided and determined that it does not meet our requirements for the following reasons. This reason being, you have provided an invoice that has not been fulfilled by the supplier. Please work with your supplier to obtain an invoice that has been fulfilled. So the fix for this isn't necessarily one size fits all. And you do have to think outside the box to be able to prove to that representative that you have the items in your possession. So for example, that could be something like you also including the shipping confirmation email that you've gotten from the company into your application or providing some type of communication from the delivery service showing that the delivery has been completed. I did that exact thing to get ungated in play school and I'll link that video toward the end as well if you wanna check that out. Now for this example, I was looking to get ungated in Nintendo and shout out to my boy Justin Myers for giving me the idea to even pursue this brand to get ungated in. So as you can see here, two days ago when I submitted my application, I got that exact message from Amazon stating that the order had not been fulfilled. 
Now, in this case, I thought to myself, because I didn't mention that I submitted an unacceptable document, I didn't end up closing the case. I just responded to this email within the Seller Central app. And again, I was just looking to prove to this rep that I had received that order. Now, wouldn't you know, in this situation, I could not find the shipping confirmation email from the supplier to prove it. So I had to try to figure out something else. So funny enough, what I did was I took a picture of all 10 of the items with my driver's license on top of the items themselves. And of course, my driver's license has my name and address that matches my seller profile. And I didn't know if this was going to work, but I figured if I had that alongside of the actual merchandise, then the representative should know that I actually have possession of that order. So I went ahead and I sent that in on the same day and then they responded back to me and they rejected me. And out of the hundreds of selling applications that I've submitted, I've never seen this before. I didn't respond at all to that rejection. And then like 30 minutes later, I got an email and they approved me to sell Nintendo. So again, I wanted to share all this information. So if you do come across an instance where you get rejected, you're able to think of different ways where you can utilize that same documentation to turn that around and get approved in that brand name. One of the biggest tips that I can give you is the comments section that's in the selling application is your friend. You want to make sure to always include details behind whatever it is that you're submitting when it comes to the invoice or to the pictures. And that really helps it make it easy for the Amazon rep that's reviewing your application. Now, if you've made it to this part in the video, you're an OG, you're a loyal. I consider you a day one. I got love for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Nodi Tribe. And I appreciate you sticking with me through this point. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's a couple things that I need your help with. So the first announcement slash question is, obviously there's a lot of competition on Amazon to sell. So I wanna be sure to protect my community from trying to sell certain items and then getting on listings that are oversaturated with hundreds of other sellers on that one listing alone. And with that, I've developed my own method that's helped me be successful selling on Amazon and I'd love to share that with you. So soon I'm gonna be starting a membership based exclusive group where you'll get access to a private community chat, live stream Q and A's, a full reseller strategy walkthrough, free ungating guides and free merch. So what I wanna know from you is, would that be something that you would be interested in signing up for? Now, if it is, go ahead and spam a 100 emoji in the chat. And I guess that kind of lets the cat out of the bag of my second announcement, which is, Yes, merch will be announced soon. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever gone and read through some of the information on my channel, or if you just come in here to get ungating tips and dip out. But the first person who can leave a comment and tell me what Nodi stands for, I'll shout you out on my next upload. As a bonus, since you made it to this point in the video, you can get early access to take a look at some of the Nodi Tribe merch. And if you do, please drop a message and let me know your feedback. If you think it's trash, let me know it's trash. You won't hurt my feelings too much. But if you think it's fire, let me know it's fire. Hey, but I appreciate y'all hanging with me today. I've linked those two walkthrough videos here. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.